With the help of the angels, the churches were built between the 12th and 13th centuries, and since then they have continued to be up and running. La Libella, its 11 main churches, and the dozens of small churches and monasteries that surround it, was at one time the capital of Ethiopia and the center of the Orthodox Church. Even today, pilgrims from every corner of the Orthodox world come here, and on specific dates like the Epiphany, the city is overflowing with monks and the faithful who come to celebrate the holidays. There are about 30 monks living in this monastery, but not all of us stay here the entire time. One of our obligations is the pilgrimage, to visit sacred places. This is why so many monks are seen on the roads. During our time here, we collect fruit, sell it at the market, and give the profits to the church. Aside from this, we don't do anything except pray and read the Bible. Monks only live for God. For centuries, the Ethiopian Orthodox Church was the southernmost Christian church on the Nile Basin. In the 15th century, all the Christian kingdoms of Nubia were swept away by the Muslims of the north. Only the Ethiopian church survived the burning. Its spiritual leader was an Egyptian appointed by the Alexandria Patriarch. Later, the Ethiopian Orthodoxy chose its own path as well as its spiritual leader. Aside from its singularity, the Ethiopian church has many similarities with other Western churches, like the coexistence of a secular clergy whose ministers should be married, and a regular clergy, which bishops come from.